Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Tower of God episode number 12. In the previous episode we got like uh, in the uh, last scene we are in a pretty bad situation where that uh, sheep time type of thing uh, whatever that is is trying to like make endorsee kill Anak and he's saying stuff like uh, if you are like uh, a real princess or if you want to like uh, protect your father's honor or something like that you have to kill the imposter which is Anak and uh, stuff like those to provoke her and uh, not provoke her but uh, force her to like do the dirty work for them or like uh, something like that so like either like someone has to save them because they are clearly a lot underpowered and uh, the enemy is a lot overpowered so clearly either someone has to save them or i don't know some kind of thing has to happen uh, for them both of them to like to uh, to i mean uh, to be saved so, uh, like some kind of miracle or something like that have to happen and I am a little bit concerned because uh, like in usually shown in uh, manga or in animes we like death is a lot like seen a lot less there are definitely exceptions for example um, Hunter x Hunter but usually in shonen uh, type of uh, mangas or animes death is rarely shown uh, um, like happens but in this anime or manga like they clearly like they just killed one of the characters which was um ho and uh, so that is the like he was a pretty like what can i say he was technically not a main character but he was kind of like a supporting one of the supporting characters so yeah i am a little bit concerned because <laughs> like like uh who they might kill off we really don't know so like this is a bit concerning anyways so yeah so without further ado let's get started with episode number 12 of tower of god okay i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Okay, so this is the 12th episode. The next one will be the last one. So we're almost at the end. I have to say, like, uh, I really, like, uh, I enjoyed this uh, series. Like, uh, there were some people who were saying, like, like, it rushed a lot. But, like, I never read the manga, so I can't, what can I say, like, compare it to the manga. But, as far as I can see from the anime, this is, like, has a quite an interesting uh, plot. And, uh, like, the characters are uh, memorable as well. Like... Like in some anime or mangas, like the characters are extremely forgettable, even though the uh, like uh, story or plotline is quite interesting. But like the story is interesting here, and the characters are quite memorable. Like there are a lot of unique characters in this show. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, they were like uh, in the middle of a test or a trial, whatever you call it. Okay, what is that? What? She's probably like going to take her and start running. What? 
like the bloodlust or something. Oh, oh, Lily, Lily's here. Oh, Lily, uh, God damn, Yuri. <laughs> like the English word for Yuri is Lily. Like Yuri means the lily flower. That's why I kind of confuse it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that. Okay. <clears throat> She's going to try to k trick them, I think. And run away. <laughs> or like they're going to try defeating him give me that what 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 are they doing what's that black march What did she give? Like, did she give the black march to her? Little too bright. Wait, that's not bright. <laughs> Anyways. Damn, this little sheep is quite nimble. What is she using? Ella? Just let me see. Just a sec. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, what are these? <laughs> Rock's angry. Oh, <laughs> he's running towards it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, damn, that was a huge jump. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> oh, no, luck. Oh. Her eyes, boy. She's a she it's a sheep. Oh, okay, better. Oh, no. Okay, I, I'm thinking like Yuri is probably going to get here. Oh, well. Oh great, now. Well, oh, okay. Oh no. And Lil Yuri is going to come any second now, I think. Wait, who is throwing stones? Is this Shibisu? Oh, no, Yuri, as I said. Uh, 
elder sister yes and okay <laughs> and she doesn't care yeah obviously um wait a second yes yeah technically it's her so <laughs> oh my god damn this these things are like <laughs> okay there's a lot of them <laughs> these are also like alligators hmm who said them wait what who is doing that? <laughs> no! <laughs> Man, this guy is hilarious. Okay, she is mad. And this guy is... Oh my god, this is dark. This guy's going to get killed, like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Well, you, sh you should probably run. Oh, she's a ranger. What? All right, Keka Kudori. Oh, okay. Wait. Who who is this? Who the hell is that? And it's time for a nap. Yes. <laughs> they look a lot alike, like, are they like brothers or something? 
Oh no. no. Oh, he's that guy um with uh Yuri. Who was with Yuri? I didn't recognize him at first. Hmm. Well, this guy is pretty like, like, wasn't he behind this? Oh my god. Okay, so he is from the Kun family. Like their hair colors are a lot similar. Oh, okay. So who is he? Hmm. And this this sheep is still trying to. <laughs> okay, he is. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is a lot overpowered. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that is like more. Okay, this is more probable. Okay, thank thank you. Like like they were princesses so they w would not be able to do it. No. Okay, so we are here. <laughs> he flattened him. <laughs> well, she has a lot of weapons.
what? Wait, how can the bull come over here? Like this is underwater, isn't it? What the? Oh my god, okay, so... Oh... Well, okay, like this is, oh no, damn. Okay, his power is strong but like he is unable to like oh okay oh oh no well, as I say, if you can't destroy it from outside, destroy it from inside. <laughs> Blast it off from inside, yeah. And boom. <laughs> okay. Well, I think like this was the best course of action because obviously that thing was flailing around. He couldn't hit it. So destroying it from the inside was the best option he had. And we're finally there. Like it's going to poop, it's going to poop them out and they will like be qualified for the trial. <laughs> what the hell is that? Seventy seventh floor. Hmm, is that girl? Navigator? Okay, they look qualified. Okay, so what? Wait, what? What the hell? Wait. Like he he's fail he's gonna fail, isn't it? Isn't he? No no just wait what? No no they were supposed to like
like why what why it seems as if he knows th this was going to happen what the hell Wait, I'm confused. Wh why? Like, like I, I'm get like if she was like going to betray him, why now? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, what? Okay, so this is the twelfth episode. There's one episode still left. So I hope we get some answers. Like what and like why why did she like uh, Okay, this is the end. Okay, I'm confused. Like Like uh, there's a few confusions in my mind. Number one, like um like when they're supposed to complete this as a team? Like if uh, like if one of them are is like fails the test, won't the second one fail as well? Or like uh I can't remember what the actual test was. So, so I'm thinking like, okay, so, so then like why, why did she like, like I can understand like she betrayed him, didn't she? Like so, if she was going to betray him, then why did she like in the first place? Why did she uh, like uh, like in in the first place? Why did she? take his help and another thing like she clearly is standing up so that was also some kind of um a, a lie that he she said okay yeah she's standing she's still standing so like why all of these things like if she, like if she was like going to betray him she could have done it a lot easier than like like tricking him like this like this doesn't make sense if like she like made this whole kind of plan just to like come into this position and throw him down and so like so what what's going to happen like he's he's the only one who is going to fail isn't it so like his friends are going to pass and he won't be able to pass like is it was that her plan like was she trying to like um isolate him and like make it uh like uh make it uh, like make a situation happen that where he will be the only one who won't be able to pass and the others will like be qualified so no i i don't really don't know like like what i i, I... oh okay so so they were all like the whole episode they were like everyone was saying like yeah we'll all like climb the tower we will all like be as a team and win and stuff like that and Rahel at the end just like throws like uh, like throws uh, Yoru down and pushes Yoru down and So like, hmm. So so here's another thing. Like that guy who like drinks coffee or tea or whatever that is. He was smiling, so he knew this was going to happen. So why like? Okay, so this is really like. Okay, and like this episode was really um sh shocking kind of So like another thing here it is like like we see Yoru Okay, that must be like it's just done for the more dramatic effect. Like I was trying to say like uh when Yoru uh, stopped that uh, bull uh, from by blasting it from inside and he was falling and Rahel catched him 
and like <laughs> he she, she could have like easily <laughs> shoved him out at that time as well so why did she care i think that was like done uh, so that like it can add to a more dramatic effect or something like that i don't know like like at that time she could have easily like shoved him off just like he, she did later on like uh, i think that was more for the dramatic effect and uh, like this episode like let's in this episode we see quite a few things for example like um like lily uh, again i'm calling her lily yuri uh, yuri comes in and like it's uh, nice to see her like getting some screen time i like as in the previous episode i also said that i am really quite uh, what can i say um sad that we did not get more screen time from black march and Li uh, yuri uh, because like those two were really one of my most favorite characters from the beginning because I really like the character design and their personality and all everything and those type of characters I really like so it was a real what can I say um, shame that uh, we did, really did not get them like see get more screen time from them and I'm sure like uh, in the manga later on we get uh, their screen time like uh, one thing like I have uh, noticed in uh, Korean mangas and webtoons is like uh, characters which like they're usually like uh, divided into parts uh, for example uh, let's say the first hundred or 75 ep uh, chapters uh, we like uh, like Korean manga or webtoon usually focuses on a selected few characters like one or two characters and like there are other characters as well but those characters are like the main focus and then after that like something happens and suddenly like this shift the whole thing into the other two characters which they were not uh, focusing on and like that continues for almost like um just like take 50 more uh, chapters then again they are like forgotten and another like a few characters are taken and after that suddenly the characters uh, which were in the second arc they come back and like they are uh, get, like the spotlight comes on them so like i've uh, noticed this and like i've read a few korean mangas and webtoons so like i've seen this like this is a common thing in korean mangas so uh, i'm thinking this is like the same uh, will probably like uh, in the manga like uh, later on uh, the they get more screen time that is uh, yuri and uh, black march and uh, it was nice to see like uh, her getting a more little bit more screen time and we get to see her extent of her powers like this is the first time we see the extent of her powers and she is pretty strong and uh, like Endosi and Anak were strong but she is like leagues apart so um, so as I said in the previous episode like they were probably going to be helped by someone a lot more stronger than them and that happened and uh, Lily helped them uh, god damn it Yuri helped them and uh, then we see a little bit of Kuhn's, uh, like that guy who was talking with Kuhn. He was probably someone from the family, Kuhn family. And she's, he said that uh, he was also like excommunicated. And so he's kind of similar to him as well. And uh, now like he tried to like use uh, Kuhn's weakness that is like that princess uh, what was her name Mari or something anyways uh, and tried to do it but obviously Kuhn's objective has like been uh, has changed a lot he like he he considered like he is a big friend for um, uh, Yoru and uh, <clears throat> so I doubt anything is going to shake his conviction and all because he has already decided to help uh, Yolu climb the tower but and like uh, climb the tower with their friends as well so yeah and uh, like so yeah that was kind of like the episode whole episode and we got a little bit of uh, fight between Anak uh, and Dorsey uh, and that uh, sheep kind of thing and later on Lil uh, Yuri came in and beat the crap out of him and kill him and I think like something uh, like they were not they would be unable to kill that thing because that will be like uh, what can I say 
just a sec. Uh, yeah, like they would be branded as traitors. Yeah, like uh, like he was saying that if you like uh, cover for Anak, who is like the imposter, uh, you'll be like betraying the uh, Jihad um, kingdom family or something, and uh, it will be like that cannot happen. So they were kind of like their hands were tied. So Yuri used someone uh, who was not at all related to like the Jihad. I think like uh, that guy was probably not related like he was probably some kind of a bodyguard or something so she used him to kill that thing that sheep thing so technically like she did not cover for Anak but also like kind of um, like uh, helped no, not helped but kind of defeated that guy and killed him so yeah and uh, I don't know I think if uh, like as Yuri was saying like we should probably stop this uh, uh, exam if she had done that and everyone would have accepted it I think then like probably Yuri would at least be still be in the competition because there are a few things I still don't understand uh, one thing I really don't understand is like is Yuri going to be disqualified or not like like he was shoved down and he's probably going to be okay but is he like going to still going to be uh, in the uh, trials and still be in the uh, like race or whatever they're trying to do like climb the tower or like will he be disqualified and uh, like get separated from his friends so i'm really not sure about that but like <sighs> Like I don't get it. Like what Rahel really, really wanted. Like, like one thing we can use, like, uh, like I can understand is like Rahel really wanted to climb the tower. That is number one point. Uh, number two point was that she tried to not involve Yoru in this from the beginning. So like later on, after she was exposed, like she had nothing else to do. Like she can't help it now like she was exposed and everything so like she, like yoru came, like uh, like in front of yoru uh, everyone saw her face and every, uh, everything so like she was trying to keep out of yoru's way and not involve yoru in everything but she got exposed like was that the reason why she shoved him down like was something going to happen if i don't know or was, was she like really i don't think she was like planning on this because if she was really like uh, like um like did not want uh, yoru's uh yoru to climb no i don't know like i really don't think that she was like did this out of the like from the like she did not want uh, yoru climbing the tower she did it that out of that or some kind of petty jealousy i don't think that is the reason because if that was the reason like then she really like she, like she wouldn't ask for his help in the first place or uh, I don't know I really don't know like this is quite mysterious like what she really wanted like there must be some kind of reason otherwise like why would she do this like like there's a lot of what can I say things which are unusual like so that's why I really can't like say that yeah the Rahel was a bad girl I can't really say something like that because like there are a lot of things which are confusing and which really do not make sense and uh, fall into place like she could have like like she could have done this a lot easier a lot different way but why did she like take this path like they were like going up and suddenly she shoves him down like why wait for so long or why even like i don't know so like because of all of these things i really can't say what her real intentions is like is it really bad or like she was forced to 
shove Yoru down because of some reason or something like like uh, like she cried she even cried before like I don't think like those tears were lying or or like she's a really good actress I don't know <laughs> anyways so like yeah like I am really quite confused at this so and I really don't know what to feel like about this like obviously like this was like a betrayal whatever you say and however you look at it even though even if she has some kind of underlying reasons like this is clearly betrayal and this is not okay but still like I don't know and like uh, when she was sh shoving Yoru, Yoru down they didn't even show her face like she was like um, uh, like uh, tilting her head down uh, her face was not shown so oh my god so so i'm thinking like this is episode number 12 so in next episode will be the end so like uh, what are they going to do like are they going to like keep this as kind of like a cliffhanger then that will be really bad like what like you can stop it like this like if it really like ends like a like cliffhanger like this like in the next episode they'll probably like uh show some more things or like try to uh, like clear up whatever that was happening but still one episode is not enough to get all the answers so we'll be left with a lot more answers so i think i'll have to start the manga after the end because like this is a really odd type of situation and like even if it gets a second season that will be like a lot later so <laughs> yeah we'll see like in the next episode i'll see the, what the episode is about and after that i'll uh, like i'll decide whether i'll uh, like continue the manga or like wait for the anime's next season i'll probably continue the manga because i really enjoy the story like it has a good story and the characters are unique and everything and as I said before, I really wanted a lot more screen time of Yudi and Black Mars. So, like, at least for them, I'm, I think I'm going to, like, continue the manga. Anyways, so, yeah, guys, this was uh, episode number 12. And as I said before, like, I am really not sure what to feel uh, after the last scene. Like, like that was obviously a betrayal. But still, I, I really don't know what to feel about Rahel. Like, there are a lot of mysteries and I really don't want to judge a character or a uh, character from an anime before like getting each and every uh, kind of answer and uh, reason why she did it and after getting the reason if i conclude that yeah the thing that she did was really bad and evil and like she really had no reason for doing this or she could have done it a lot more in a lot uh, uh, like other way or a good way and she still like chose this way something like that then i will probably resent her but until and unless like she is proven guilty I'm going to like keep my um, opinion about her as a neut in a neutral stance because there are a lot of things which are which the uh, show did not answer, which are like still in uh, covered in uh, darkness. So yeah, I won't judge a character before I get to know like everything, uh, why she did that and uh, whether there's some kind of underlying reasons or not. Uh, and stuff like those after that will probably not be answered in this uh, season like there's just one episode left so i'll probably like decide it after i start reading the manga and get to a portion where it really answers all questions and after that i'll probably decide whether i really i do not like rahel is a bad character or a good character not a good character but uh kind of misunderstood or like uh, that type of character so I'll like uh, my opinion after that I'll, I'll decide otherwise um, I like there are a lot of uh, mysteries left so I really want to judge her before those are answered so yeah guys that was this episode if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed that helps a lot and uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to share about this episode anything you want to say I'll be sure to check them out and uh, i'll be back with a new tower of god episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day